October 7th was was quite a day for, for a lot of us in this community. Let's be clear, everybody in Israel was affected. Everybody in Israel knew somebody, knows somebody that died, that was kidnapped. We're all affected. The community is coming together, you see with your own eyes. 1,400 people attending. They want to seek some communal solidarity, express support for Israel, campaign on behalf of the hostages, pray for peace. It's going back to this New Year's theme. We're supposed to have a period of time of contemplation. Literally, the Hebrew term is cheshbon and nefesh. Uh, checklist of the soul. And maybe that's a little bit of this is check in. Have we done enough to help our brothers and sisters in Israel? Have we done enough for the United States Israel relationship? Have we done enough for all of humanity? It's the worst day for the Jewish people since the Holocaust. I went to Israel in July also to volunteer a little bit. I have to feel that I am joining my uh, family and friends in Israel and supporting them and showing that we are behind them and we're supporting them. This is part of my heart, you know, all what happened today and all the last year. It's been a tough year for Israelis, for diaspora Jews, for Gazans, for Palestinians, for allies of all those demographics. And I just think it's important to show up and um, express solidarity with the pain and the suffering that's been going on. What is your hope for the future? Peace, a ceasefire, the return of the hostages, a government in Israel that is interested in seeking either of those things with any legitimate um, sincerity.